All right, fellas. Thought I'd do a video on this uh, little electric scooter I bought last night from uh, my cousin's husband. Uh, it's a 1962 Buzzabout electric. I guess you'd call it. Uh, I don't know if you call it a golf cart or what, but. Uh, my understanding from uh, what he told me and he did a little research on it but he said there's really not much uh, out there available about them but uh, uh, two teenage brothers uh, came up with this idea the Jordan brothers uh, and uh, one of them had lost a leg in some sort of accident and uh, they went into manufacturing these and uh, they only got about 10 of them built that's what I was told uh, before they ran out of money and they couldn't get any funding or a loan or anything so uh, anyway that was the end of that for them but uh, show you the sticker here says wait, well, you can see that Sun's out pretty bright. Buzz about. Manufactured by Jordan Brothers, Austin, Minnesota. And I've got uh, there's a sign place close to here. I've got them making me some new stickers for it. Uh, got this from my wife's cousin's husband last night. He rewired it and uh, painted it. Didn't do that great a job painting it, but. You know, it's uh, it's mainly her idea to buy it, actually. Believe it or not, she is scared to death of a riding mower, but she wanted something she could, you know, scoot around our little town on, in or whatever. <laughs> uh, and uh, golf carts are legal to run on the streets in our little town of 1,300 people. So anyway, I'll show you the uh, mechanics of it. You got to take the seat. Off when you flip this up or it'll fall off. Turn the handlebars around. And there's your big electric motor. Runs off a 112 volt battery. Now anyway, I believe from what he said and uh, back in the, you know 1962 they probably did I have it set up like that. Of course, a kid with one leg couldn't push it backwards. It pushes backwards easily, but uh, they had two six volt batteries and had it set up to where uh, I don't know exactly how, but uh, where there was a reverse. Also, I think that's what that hole right there was actually. Or maybe a reverse knob or something. I don't know. But uh, has a parking brake. It actually brakes. And when you push it down, and this little lever here, catch it in that, and it it's a parking brake. But uh, he put. He said the original pedal was just, you know, basically just fast. He put uh, two pedals on it. That's the slow pedal, and that's the fast pedal. If you can see it for the sun. Um, yeah, I think this is pretty neat. And they came with that little rack, which was factory to it, they said. For, I don't know, you to part of your, part of your, uh, been able to haul stuff in it. I would say it had a lid on it at one point, but uh, I don't know. Anyway. Let's go for a little ride on this thing. It's pretty fun actually. You gotta push it backwards. Got a pretty good turning radius on it though. Here we go. that popping is in the back end. I'll have to check into that. Anyway. Okay. 
they go a little bit fast downhill. Um, Turn the slow speed uphill. Whoa! <laughs> that fast pedal a little too hard. Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty neat little outfit. Like I said, I've never heard anything about them before. I gotta believe this is really rare to only be 10 of them made, obviously, if he was right. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Uh, I'm going to get uh, probably next week uh, a deep marine battery uh, for it. So, you know, it'll hold the charge longer. This is just a regular 12 volt car battery that's in it. Um, and it does fine on it, but it just doesn't last for a long time. I've charged it twice today, and of course, we've played around with it quite a bit. But uh, my wife. Just loves it. She just giggles like a schoolgirl riding it. So that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this thing. And uh, if anybody's ever heard of these, let me know. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching. And have a good weekend. Bye.